Even though we still have till the end of the year to raise money for Extra Life, game day has come and gone. I didn't get to participate in game day this year because I was at my sister-in-law's wedding, but I have been able to play throughout the entire year and get lots of donations. Uh, in fact, I just wanted to take a moment to rethink everybody who's donated. Um, my sister-in-law, Dina Wing, um, Ivo Turugi, um, who donated a huge amount of money um, during one of my uh, Witcher playthroughs, um, Ryan Christopher, um, a good family friend, um, Pedro Mesa, my uncle, and I had a few anonymous donations, um, which uh, if I figured out who it is, I'm just going to let you stay anonymous since you wanted to be anonymous in there. Um, together we've raised $309 out of my um, $1,000 goal. Um, now that I think about it, I kind of realized that my goal was overly ambitious. I was kind of figuring that I was going to get um, lots of um, businesses to throw in and stuff like that. And, and um, I kind of came to realize that a lot of businesses, they already have their charity plans uh, figured out in a lot of ways. Although I do hope next year to kind of talk to some of the local businesses and see if um, some of the smaller local um, businesses might be willing to throw in a few bones here and there. Um, it introduced me uh, to streaming. Um, I'd heard of um, Let's Plays. Um, my brother Dan's been doing Let's Plays for quite some time. And um, I just kind of, I hadn't gotten into it enough to kind of, to kind of get why people enjoy doing it so much. Uh, but as I got into streaming to raise money for Extra Life, uh, one of the best things that I found was when you're playing and someone else joins in and you kind of either have a conversation about the game or just a little conversation. Uh, it brings me back to when I was a kid and uh, we would just play on the couch and there would usually be a bunch of us playing together. Um, nowadays, most games, if they're multiplayer, um, the people are in another location. You know, most people aren't local. So it kind of brings back some of that local feeling to playing and I really enjoy that a lot. So I just love when someone jumps in when I'm playing. Um, and now, thanks to um, YouTube streaming, people can jump in either on YouTube or Twitch. Um, and uh, the overlay, um, that was kind of fun. Um, you know, it wasn't a, a um, hard thing for me because I've been using Photoshop for over 10 years now, um, probably close to 12 or 13 years. But uh, it does show that um, if you look at the progress, I started with something that looked like this. And now I have something that looks like this, which is still not amazing, but it kind of shows that just because you have the technical know-how doesn't mean you have the artistic know-how. The first one I had, uh, while uh, including you know uh, the ambitious nature of the sponsors and so on and so forth, is just kind of a, a lot uglier than the simpler one that I have now, which again is still not perfect, but it's a lot better than the previous one was. Uh, also, um, this year I made a team with my brothers Dan and Dave. Um, we did play a little bit during my mini marathons while my wife was uh, out of town. Um, together, we raised uh, $384, um, dollars, so um, that's pretty good. Uh, it's a little bit um, below average. Um, they say on average someone uh, that you bring in brings in about 100 bucks. Um, but it's still, I mean, if you average us all together, then yes, we've got $300. Um, the average person playing by myself raises um, 200 um, I've gotten three, 309, so it's really nice to be above the average. Um, I am still hoping to raise a bit more before the end of the year. Um, I know a thousand's really hard to get, but I'm hoping to maybe make it to 500. We'll see. Uh, and at this time, I plan on playing again next year. Um, I have two uh, major goals for next year. One is um, to lower the amount to more, um, more of a attainable amount, and then if I meet that, I have some kind of little bonus thing, like maybe if I meet my first goal, then I'll throw in another 25, uh, and so on and so forth. And um, that I think will help people feel like they're, you know, psycholo psychologically, I, hope it'll, I think it'll help people feel like they're helping to get us to the end of the goal. Um, but also, one thing I really want to do is, um, if I'm going to participate every year, I don't want um, my family and friends to feel, which are the majority of my of my um, donations, I don't want to feel obligated every year that I'm going to ask them every year for money. So by lowering the amount, I'm, I'm kind of hoping to kind of maybe only come to my family and friends every other year to ask for money um, and try and see if there's other ways, other community members that we can kind of together raise some money. So anyway, that's kind of my analysis of how things went. I think overall things went really well. 
um, I was able to um, get higher than the average. Um, I was able to learn um, how much I can enjoy streaming and uh, we raised money for the kids. Um, and this is um, nearly $400 more that um, Johns Hopkins is gonna have um, in the future um, to help children that, that really, really need um, their help. Um, and so I thank you for any amount that you've donated to me or any amount you might donate in the future. And uh, thanks for watching.